Hello everyone, welcome to Shaberger Studios. Uh, my name is Wink, and for the longest time I've always wanted to release a game. My friend and I have been working on this game for the past couple of months. We are both college students, so we only work on the free time that we have. In this video, we're going to cover the last eight months of work that we've been doing, and I don't want to waste any more time, so let's get started. Before I start showing you parts of the game, I should probably tell you what the game's actually about, and so let's do that. We are making a multiplayer wizard roguelite, uh, which is developed in Unity. We're planning to have five different elements in the game and allowing the player to select their character depending on the element type, as well as customizable wands as four different parts that can be interchangeable at any time. Uh, for each of the elements, there will be uh, zones corresponding to them, as well as different spells and enemies. And later in this video, we'll be seeing the earth spells, enemies, and the zone we've been working on. Now that I've shown you the basic outline of our game, uh, let's get started with a more in-depth explanation of the wand system. We want wands to be a huge part in the game. You can mix and match all these different parts of the wands to make your character unique during a run. There's four different parts to the wands. There's a stick, the gem, handle, and pommel. The stick will provide a damage boost to all the different spells in the game, as well as a mana regen boost. They will also add a new spell to your arsenal, which will be unique to each wand stick. The gems will provide a massive stat boost, whatever type of gem they are. So if you have a earth gem, your earth damage will be increased by like 30, for example. The wand handle provides health and mana boost, as well as increased move speed. And the pommel will increase your defensive and stun resistance. Uh, when you defeat enemies, so there's a chance that a new wand part will spawn, that will spawn on the ground, and you're able to interact with it and switch the wand part out on the fly. Continuing on with the enemies on screen there, let's start talking about the enemies. So, currently we have about five enemies in the game. We're planning to add uh, three more for the Earth elements. The one you just saw was the Geohod, the guy that dives onto the player. The Geohod would spawn in a group and would be pretty threatening to the player if hit. The Geo Bombarder will be another enemy who has a charge shot and a three round burst. And for the last of the little guys, we have the Geo Gentleman. Note, all these names are, uh, can be changed. If you have any name ideas, you can put them down in the comments. The Geo Gentleman will have an overhead attack and then a ground pound. Now that I've shown you the three guys, the Geo Gentleman, the Geo Hod, and the Geo Bombarder, they won't just spawn in the world, uh, they will spawn from a, a summoner enemy. We don't have a name for it yet. Just summon a group of the guys. Let's move on to the last enemy we have in the game so far, the Rock Totem. The Rock Totem has three different abilities, a charge attack, a dash, and a laser attack. Moving on from enemies, let's talk about the spells we've added to the game and the ones we're planning on adding. In total, there'll be six different types of wand spells. This will include a basic attack, a damage spell, support spell, a movement spell, an alt spell, as well as a unique ability tied to the wand stick. These spells can do a multitude of things. One of them right now can apply a status effect to the enemy called Petrified, which will not allow the enemy to move for X amount of seconds. We as a team want to ensure that the spells are unique and feel different for every spell you have, as well as change how you play the game, as well as making it fun to use. We currently have one spell from each of the base categories. From the basic attack, we have the Rock Fist, which will attack enemies inside its range. It's a close range attack. And it's a low base damage, but a fast attack speed. For the support ability, it's Nature's Grasp. It will apply Petrify to all the enemies inside the cone wherever the player is facing for an X amount of seconds. The damage ability we implemented is Fissure. Whatever the player is facing, it shoots up a row of rocks that does some damage. For the alt ability, we have Gordon's Pillar. Spawns on the ground wherever the player is looking. On spawn, it does a big initial damage, applying Petrify to all enemies. Then after an X amount of seconds, it will do an AoE pulse from itself, damaging all enemies within the range. Finally, our movement ability is a rock dash, where he will just dash the player in the direction he was looking. Moving on to our last section of the devlog, the environment. 
For the first area, we plan on having the players run through a cave that is randomly generated. The generation depends on a seed. The player can enter a seed or it will be randomly generated. Uh, we currently have four different types of rooms. We have the start room, the like normal basic room, as well as a loot room, and then the mini boss room. And when you exit the cave, you enter the boss room, which will start the final boss for the area. The loot room will be where you find the roguelite items that will basically let you change how the game goes or how the player is affected by the spells, like increasing your damage, giving you different things. We don't know if we want to how we want to do the items yet. We don't know if we want to do the items like, for example, Risk of Rain. You just get a whole bunch of little status effects that you can get a whole bunch of them that boost your damage. Or do ones that are very impactful on gameplay. In the final release, we plan on having more rooms. Right now, the rooms are very barren and kind of gross looking, in my opinion. But we'll be adding and making them more detailed, changing the textures, and adding little things to them. That's it for Devlog Zero. I just want to show you guys what we've been working on for the past couple of months. The new ones will be new stuff that we added to the game. Next Devlog, I'm going to let the player be able to change their spells, and those should be new ones we've added, as well as making the game just look better. If you guys did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe by all means, and if you didn't enjoy it, let me know down in the comments.